Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing well, and in this video, we're going to take a look at 4 growth stocks that may be a big buy in the month of April 2021. The market has been crazy over the past month. The Dow Jones is now trading at all time highs, as investors are locking in the profits from the tech sector and are now moving billions of dollars into the traditional value stocks that are poised to benefit from a further economic reopening. In the recent sell-off of tech, has the Nasdaq down 6% from its high and some very strong companies are now trading at a very attractive level. So we're going to discuss 4 growth stocks that are currently on a major decline of over 20% and maybe a great buy to pick up over the next few weeks in the month of April. And before we move into that first company, I'm going to ask you to please hit that like button and subscribe. I am the Gen Z investor and every single day we talk about the stock market going over different stocks you can buy, and any major market news. So please hit that like button, subscribe for the daily videos, and the first company to take a look at in the month of April is ticker SPOT, and that is Spotify. The music streaming company now trades for $267 per share, and over the trailing 12 months, they are still up 112%. And at this current level, the company has a market cap at $49 billion. And if we take a closer look at their trading over the past few weeks, the company was at a high of $364 per share in the middle of February 2021. But from that point, we have seen a major decline of over 26%, losing close to $100 per share in value in only a few weeks. So now may be a great opportunity to buy the dip in the leader in the streaming sector. And over their latest quarter, the company just announced that they have surged past 150 million paid subscribers and their platform now has 345 million total active users every single month. And I believe Spotify will continue to be a market leader in the audio streaming sector for long into the future. The company already has the best platform on the market they're locking up big celebrities like Joe Rogan and Michelle Obama to long-term contracts and the company has collected so much data from their users as they continue to grow their artificial intelligence, their platforms only going to get smarter and smarter and be able to keep users, keep coming back for more, giving them music suggestions that they know they're going to continue to listen to and suggesting different audio podcasts and experiences to keep the users always entertained. So they have a bright future with artificial intelligence. They have so much data already collected on their platform. And I think as a whole, I don't see many competitors coming out and kicking Spotify out of that number one spot in the audio space. And the company is also doing a great job of understanding where the future opportunities arise. And that is in live audio. Of course, Clubhouse has absolutely exploded in popularity over the recent months. And in order to compete in that market, Spotify has just announced that they will be acquiring Betty Labs. And that's the creator of the live audio social platform called Locker Room that is focused on sports. So this new acquisition, I think is going to be a great product to go under the Spotify ecosystem and is going to bring them exposure to a new industry of sports lovers in the very hot live audio trend. And another reason why I believe Spotify will continue to be a leader in the music streaming sector for long into the future is because the company is already international. They have 345 million monthly active users, which is up 27% year over year, and we can see they're getting users from all around the world. 24% from North America, 22% from Latin America, 35% from Europe, and 19% from the rest of the world. So this company is not solely focused on one continent for a majority of their users. And we can see all across the world, people are using Spotify as a go-to for audio and music streaming. And as the trend continues, where more individuals are shifting over to a monthly paying subscription to get unlimited music and audio, Spotify I think is a brand that's gonna to continue to grow over the long term, and their premium subscribers was up 24% year over year, to 155 million over the latest quarter. And we can see over the next two years in the future, analysts are projecting 20% total revenue growth in the 2021 fiscal year to over 11 billion, and then up to 13.1 billion in 2022, representing another 19% annual increase. And at this current level, next year they're projecting over 50% share price appreciation and averaging over 100% 
for the next five years in the future. And we can see at this current level of $267 per share, the company is well below the 12 month price target of $311. So right now, Spotify is definitely a high growth company to take a look at in the month of April. They've declined 26% from their high, and that might be a great opportunity to buy the dip on the music streaming leader that trades with a market cap at 49 billion and is projected to hit over 11 billion of total revenue throughout 2021. And now if we move on to the second high growth company in today's episode, we have ticker OPEN and that is Open Door Technologies. The company currently trades for $21 per share and they have a market cap at around 12 billion. And this is a company that just hit the public market through a SPAC deal a few months ago. And they reached a high of over $35 per share and have now declined over 40% back down to this $21 level. And they're the first ever fully digital real estate company operating all across the country. And Opendoor is trying to be a disruptor to the traditional real estate market that really hasn't changed too much over the past 10 to 20 years. And the company is making it easier than ever to buy, sell, or move through their digital platform. The traditional way of selling a home is very complex and requires a lot of time, money, and stress. But their service offers greater simplicity. You can do it all in a few days and you can buy or sell a home with only a few clicks of a button. And that's where Open Door has a very strong competitive advantage because right now they're one of the only companies that offers all of these services in one very simple and easy to use platform. And going forward, over the longer term, they project that they can operate in 100 different markets across the United States and with a 4% market share, they'll be able to generate over 50 billion in total annual revenue. And we can see right now, the company shared their full year 2020 results. They did have a tough year due to the pandemic, but they plan to double their total markets throughout 2021 and be operational in 42 by the end of this year. And if we take a look at some future growth projections, going forward throughout 2021, and us are forecasting a 46% growth rate in their total revenue, bringing them back up to over 4 billion. And then in 2022, they're expecting an 80% growth rate to over 7.27 billion of total revenue in the next fiscal year. And going forward, they're expecting a 33% growth rate from this current level for the next 12 months. And the company is currently considered a strong buy coming in at a 1.7 and the current share price of $21 is well below the 12 month target of over $35 per share. So Open Door is definitely a very unique company. They are on the smaller side. They're a SPAC that just went public and are trading with around a $12 billion market cap at this current level. And the share price has fallen over 40% from its previous high at $35. So if you're interested in the real estate sector and you want an innovator and a fast moving company that is going to change the traditional way of buying and selling a home, then Open Door is a brand that you may want to take a look at for your own personal portfolio. And now if we move away from this company and jump into stock number three, we have PayPal, ticker PYPL. The company currently trades for $242 and over the trailing 12 months, they're up 143% and they're trading with a $277 billion market cap. And this is a fintech leader that has seen a major decline from a high of over $304. They have now fallen over 20% back down to the $242 price point. And as e-commerce continues to grow in popularity, PayPal is a brand that's going to remain operational with growing revenue for long into the future. They're already the market leader in the space, they're already one of the most trusted names in digital payment solutions, and they already have hundreds of millions of active accounts on the PayPal platform. And they continue to do a great job of innovate and coming out with new products. And just last week, the company has announced PayPal crypto checkout service. So Bitcoin and all the other cryptos have been exploding in popularity, and the company has just announced a platform that you can use to actually spend your cryptocurrency at checkouts in tens of millions of stores, online right now and the company says that 50 plus percent of their individuals who own crypto in their digital wallet are logging into paypal every single day 
So that means these users are getting more comfortable with the PayPal platform. And if they continuously log on every day, it will become a habit of their daily lives. And over the longer term, they'll continue to use PayPal as projected for more than just crypto and for all their other digital payment solutions. And we can see the company has some major projections for their future growth. At this current level, they generated over 21 billion of total revenue in 2020. But going forward, they're projecting a 20% annual growth rate, and by 2025, they expect to have over $50 billion in total annual revenue. So getting into PayPal right now on a 20% decline in share price for a brand that's projected to more than double their total sales over the next five years, I believe this company by 2025 is going to be worth a lot more than where they are right now. And if we take a look at their bottom line or their earnings, that's projected to grow at over 22% per year for the next five years in the future, and they're projecting to expand their total operating margin as well. And analysts are showing a very bullish perspective on this company for the next five years, with an average estimate of 22% annual growth in the company's share price, and right now, they are considered a strong buy coming in at a 1.8%, and the current share price of $242 is once again well, well below Wall Street's average price target of $306. So PayPal is definitely a brand to take a look at this month. If the share price continues to fall even lower, then I think picking up a few shares is definitely a nice addition to a very solid, well-rounded growth portfolio. And now we're going to take a look at the fourth and final stock included in this week's list, and that is advanced micro devices ticker amd they currently trade for around 78 dollars per share and the company has grown by 59 percent over the trailing 12 months with a market cap of 92 billion dollars and right now this is one of the leaders in the semiconductor space which is projected to see a mass expansion over the next few years and from the company's high back in early of this year they peaked at around 97 dollars per share and have now fallen back down over 19% to this $78 level. So if you want some exposure to the semiconductor industry and a company that's on a major dip, then AMD may be a nice pickup in the month of April. Right now, they believe their total adjustable market is at around $80 billion, and that's continuing to grow every single year. And the company continues to unveil new products to expand their growing portfolio of market-leading chips in this sector. And we can see for the full 2021 fiscal year, they're projecting annual revenue growth of 37% while maintaining a gross margin of 47%. So to grow revenue at 37% year over year, if they can achieve these numbers over the short term, I'm sure that will start a rebound in their current share price and bring back up a growing company. And we can see over the longer term, they're projecting 20% annual growth in their total sales over the longer term, so we're looking three, five, 10 years in the future, they're still projecting a mass acceleration and maintaining a gross margin above 50%. And this company will be very profitable, averaging around the mid 20s for their operating margin and a free cash flow margin above 15%. So, right now, I am personally a bull on the semiconductor industry. I think it's only going to continue to grow. And with all of the major companies falling 10, 15, 20%, over the past month, I think now is a great time to buy the dip throughout the month of April. And going forward, AMD is projected to grow at over 26% per year for the next five years, and the current share price is once again, like all of our other companies, well below their 12-month price target at $103 per share. And last week, the company just got another upgrade to outperform from Northland Capital. And right now, they are considered a slight buy with a 2.3 rating. So I think AMD is the fourth company to take a look at in the month of April. So far in this video, we've gone over four different names, including Spotify, Open Door, PayPal, and then AMD. These are big companies with major growth potential over the long term and have all fallen between 20 and 40% from their recent high as investors are locking in profits in tech and are shifting their capital away from that sector and into the more value type plays like industrials, consumers, and materials. So right now, those are the four companies to take a look at in the month of April. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Share with me your own thoughts of what stocks you have your eye on right now, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.